up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be filming a video a little bit different so if you are new here hey what's up my name is danielle i've never posted a video like this before so yeah strangely enough i've gotten a lot of requests lately to do a video where i just show you guys all of my purses handbags crossbodies basically my handbag collection um and i was kind of debating this for a while because collection videos are kind of like here's everything that i have look at me but the more I thought about it, the more I realized I enjoy watching other videos like this that other people do. And I thought it would be kind of cool for myself to just kind of go through and see all the bags that I've purchased throughout the years. Um, and I don't know, each bag represents something different for me in different periods of my life. A little disclaimer here, most of the bags I'm showing you guys were purchased with my own earned money. Some of the items were gifts, um, but for the most part, I bought these all for myself. Some people like buying shoes, some people like buying jewelry. My favorite thing to spend money on are purses. I love purses. I love just wearing a more inexpensive, low-key outfit and dressing it up with a nicer handbag. I'm not ashamed to say it. I am not gonna sit here and do a disclaimer for hours because if you clicked on this video, you wanna see it. And I really, let's just keep it that way. But yeah, I'm excited to show you guys the bags that I have. I'll kind of give little stories for some of them, I'm sure. Um, and yeah, hopefully I remember the names of all these bags because I don't know. But it was so funny, I was like pulling everything from my closet and just, you know, where I keep my bags and I was like, wow, actually a lot more than I thought. So without further ado, let's get started with my purse collection. I will have all of them linked down below, at least all the ones that I can find that are still available down below for you guys to check out if you ever so desire. This is probably one of my first um, nice bags that I purchased. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30, I believe. This is the most common popular size. I got this off of Poshmark back in the day and or maybe actually this might have been ebay i really don't use this bag as much anymore so i either need to decide if i want to start using it again or if i want to sell it um i'm not really sure but it is such a classic bag and it fits so much i call it just like a little bucket bag i think i need to purchase like a strap that i can use to kind of wrap around it all because maybe i'll wear it more because i love crossbodies you'll see most of the bags here are crossbodies but i do love this bag and she was one of my first sticking with the louis vuitton trend i love this this is the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs mini backpack, I believe. This was pretty hard to find. I finally found this on Poshmark. It was sold out everywhere and I really, really wanted it and I'm so happy I stuck with it and got it because I really do use it a lot. This is perfect. It fits a crap ton and it looks like a little mini backpack and you can wear it as a backpack, which I've been doing lately. It's got black straps. Or when I first got it, what I did is I wore it as a crossbody. And it also looks super cute um, on your waist. So this is awesome. I wore this most of Coachella because it just fits so much and it's just so convenient. Next up, we have this bag that I actually got at Nordstrom Rack and I use it a lot. This is the Rebecca Minkoff. Actually, I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a Rebecca Minkoff crossbody. And I love it because it's got silver hardware. It's probably one of my only bags of silver hardware, but I love it. It's like, I just love the material of it. It's crossbody and it's got these fringe details. And again, you can wear it like this. And I just like it because it's like a workwear chic kind of vibe. You can hold it. I do enjoy holding bags like this. I really do. But I also love the crossbody aspect. Has zipper detailing on the side. Fits a lot. Staying on the Rebecca Minkoff trend. This is one of my other tried and true bags that I've had for a very long time. If you guys have been on YouTube for a long time, you would remember this. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Mini Mac. Oh my gosh, when these... These used to be so, so popular. It hurt. Like, every beauty guru YouTuber had these. Um, I also had a teal one, but I think I sold that or gave it away. Um, this is just like a nude one. I believe my aunt actually gave this to me for one of my birthdays. So thanks, Aunt Debbie. Kind of getting through my older bags first, I guess. This bag, I remember I bought in LA, one of my first trips to LA. It's a Marc Jacobs bag. I forget the name of it, but this fits a ton as well. It has this big compartment, and then it has a super cool zipper um, that flaps over, but it also fits a lot in there. It's got the gold detailing, just kind of the Marc by Marc Jacobs detailing on there. It fits a lot. It's actually really heavy, though, which is kind of annoying, but I used this bag for a very long time, and I just I can't get rid of it yet. I, I like it. This bag I just recently got off of Revolve. I have been loving it for the summer. It's so, so, so cute. I will have this link down below because I'm pretty sure they definitely still have this. Um, it's just like an envelope-style bag canvas and it's got a lot of space honestly and it's crossbody again which i love because i don't really keep a ton of ton of my purses um and this just fits enough and it's perfect for summertime one of my other favorite bags is the chloe fay bag i love this this is like the tan i think this is i forget the exact name of this color but 
This is just one of my go-to staple bags. I love the detailing of this. I love all Chloe bags because of this little detail right here. Flaps open and it's got a couple different compartments in there and it looks really, really good on. You can wear it on your shoulder or I'll do crossbody and it's a little bit shorter but it's nice because then you can easily access things and it still smells so good. It still smells like brand new. This bag right here, I believe is the Gucci Marmont, Marmot um, crossbody. I believe when I got this, it was limited edition, so I don't think they sell this one anymore in the yellow color, but they definitely still sell this style. I know Brooke has this one in black. I almost got this one in black velvet when I got this, but I decided to go for the yellow instead and ended up being so perfect. This is a great pop. I still use it all the time. Um, but yeah, again, it's crossbody or... I can do one of these, which I really like, and make it a shoulder bag. I bought this bag in Dallas with a ton of my YouTube friends when it was like a style con weekend, I believe. So that was really, really fun. I got this my freshman year of college, and I'm just, this was a fun one. This is the Gucci Soho Disco Bag. If you're just looking for a basic one, this is great. Um, I know I have this obviously in black. My friend Sophia has it in red. My friend Caitlin has it in like a tan brown. Um, and it's just great. It's just a simple crossbody with the fringe zipper and it fits a ton, but it doesn't take away from your outfit, which I absolutely adore. And it's just got the more low key, I guess you could say Gucci symbol. Um, but yeah, this is another one of my favorites. I use it all the time. This would be my most recent bag purchase. This is the Gucci Dionysus Dionysus Supreme mini bag. I had my eye on this for like six months now and I finally got it. It's got, you guys corrected me in my last video, pewter. This is like a pewter color. It's not silver, pewter chain. And I like it again because you can do the shoulder or a nice crossbody, which is what I tend to lean towards. Um, but yeah, this is the simple Gucci logo and it's funny because when I was younger I used to hate this print and now I'm like obsessed with it. It's just things come and go. I love the belt buckle detailing right here and it fits everything I need and it's got this extra little flap under here which is awesome. So big fan of this. This is what I use today. It's been my recent bag of choice to use. Doing the Gucci. Um, <laughs> This is my like kind of going out bag. It's super, super tiny. Um, and I don't, it's also like the Gucci Marmont style. But yeah, this one's really small. I literally just put my little key pouch in this and then my phone can like just barely fit if I'm really in the mood. But usually I'll like put my phone in my pocket or something because it's kind of not really fun to hold. But it does the job and it's perfect for going out when I don't want like a big bulky bag. I have this, this is the Gucci belt bag. I love it, I got it for Coachella last year and it was like, the highlight of my weekend. It was so awesome. I didn't realize they do have a they do have a bigger size as well, which I kind of wish I got because then I could fit my vlog camera and my phone together. With this, I definitely can only do one of the electronics and then my wallet and simple essentials, but it looks so good with so many outfits. It's great because it, it like kind of is good if you just want to like cinch in the waistline of a dress or something. This is great and then you can also put stuff in it. It's great for travel. Love this guy. One of my other favorites. This is a YSL bag. I forget the name of it, but it's kind of like an envelope style. I bought this on my eight year YouTube anniversary in Vancouver and it was a little bit less expensive for me because of the exchange rate, which is awesome. I love this bag because you can hold it at the crook of your arm or it's got this awesome chain and that's how I usually wear it as a crossbody. But I love the look of this. It's super classy and timeless. Um, and then it has two different sections here and then there's also a middle component for zippers. And last but not least, I saved the best for last. This was my first, this was definitely my first big girl bag. I mean, yes, I bought that Louis Vuitton Speedy, but this is the first bag that I went to the store, bought it, it was this big old thing. I was so excited, I'd saved up money for this. And oh my gosh, this was like, such, I bought this in New York with my mom. This is the Celine mini luggage tote, I believe was the name. I used to like know this name by heart and now I like forget. This was a big moment for me. I was so proud of this. I literally love this bag so much to this day. It is forever my big girl bag. This used to be all the rage and it still is a, a classic piece, but I remember my Instagram feed was full of these. I love it. It's basically my go-to tote. If I go to a coffee shop and work, whatever, you can pop a ton of stuff in there. This it was a big moment for me and I still love this bag so much and I'm gonna keep it forever as a memory and hopefully when I'm working one day in New York City, this will be my bag I take to the office. Whew, we did it, I had all my bags in this little basket actually, so and they all fit in there somehow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of like a different video than I normally film and I don't mean to ever seem materialistic. It was just a video that you guys requested and it was actually kind of fun to go down memory 
memory lane and show you guys my bags. I'm <laughs> like crazy cat lady, crazy bag lady. That's me. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I'll see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye-bye.